Hello. Time for a little video walkthrough update on the greenhouse. So let's go ahead and check it out. I got all the sides up. Got the little roof cap. I have to screw down still. I still have to do the flashing trim around the edge. Got the window in the front on one side. Still have to put a window on that side. And then have to put the uh, window uh, flap. And we got our door with a little screen. I'll make a little plastic piece that will fit in there for the winter time. But for now, it needs the air. So let's go inside. Did the whole floor. We started off with the raw pea gravel. We decided that was becoming too expensive. So we used the pea gravel elsewhere and used this mulch that's guaranteed for one year or retain color. So good enough for me. Over here we have the uh, five inch rails aeroponics that I put in a couple weeks ago. And everything is going pretty nicely. In fact, the tomatoes, uh, pickling cucumbers, the yellow and green zucchini squash are all going well. I might have to move them because they're getting so big and they're overshadowing the peppers over here. Brussels sprouts are doing well, most of them, strawberries. And back here in the corner is one squash I started from seed. It's growing nicely as well. And even the carmine here, which still got some yellow leaves, I thought it was dying, is the first of the peppers to actually flower. So that's very cool. We'll Going along this side, we have our outlet with timer for the rail system and the reservoir. Don't worry, that's organic insecticide soap. Don't, don't want to use any poisons around here. And then we got our bin for our hydrotin. And here on the back, we have our bucket system going in still. And we have one bucket in operation with three cucumbers, which are going nicely. I have an outlet over here. I'm going to put in another outlet over there for fan and for the pumps for the water supply system I'll be putting out back. And we have our back window. Um, I already got the frames for the uh, plastic openers in the back, but I haven't put them on yet because it's hot. And we got our fan here, which may move to the front because that's where the breeze comes from. When we're at, it comes from the west to east. Reservoir for the buckets. And then there's our big air pump that handles the entire greenhouse. A little valve there going to each reservoir. There's the reservoir for our leafy green rails, and they're going pretty good. I'm going to go get supplies to uh, complete the top two rails, because I have things sprouting up that need to go in there. And our kale going quite well, and little roots coming out. And our lettuce, I mean, check that out. We're going to be having a salad next week. Nice roots there, too. And I had one lattice wasn't done good, so right here I'm doing a clone of our tomato plant. So anyone here local in San Diego that wants uh, some tomatoes, I'll be having lots of clones. I'm going to build a dedicated cloner. And our lone solitary spinach plant. I have a little problem sprouting and growing spinach. So what I'll probably be doing is I got out a batch I'm going to sprout this weekend in a different cedar. I'm going to keep cooler no heating pad and then I'm probably going to grow them in a float system indoors so I can keep it in a more controlled temperature than I can out here. And then my emergency release lock. I got locked in here last week so I gotta make sure I can unlock myself. It's a nice pleasant temperature this morning. Let's walk around the back. Oh, not everything's going to be grown hydroponically. we got some grapes going here, and we're going to have some goji berries. We're going to go pick up some lemon trees and blueberries today. So here's our, right now, this is just my water dechlorinated for filling up reservoirs, but it will eventually be for the reservoir top-off system. As over here, we're going to put in a 275-gallon tote for water for dechlorination and for use in the reservoirs and all our systems. Here's what I was talking about frame-wise. 
these will be eventually covered up on one side with uh, plastic material so in the winter time I can keep it nice and closed up but still open it on the warm times to have some airflow. So that's the greenhouse in a nutshell. Still more work to do but quite operational right now. Oh, one last thing. This is my temporary, very temporary power source fed in there and do oh, got a dog mess to a plug there. I am uh, trenching to put permanent power in there, but the plan is to eventually have solar power. So this greenhouse is totally off the grid. And if anything happens, we have power. We'll also have backup water if we need it in the water tub. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching.